Casino backstage at the CMA Awards with Thomas Rhett. Good to see you. Good to see you, Are too, Are you excited buddy. for the show? I'm super excited for the show. It's going to be a lot of fun this year. How many? You know what? With your background, how many years have you been doing CMA Awards? Um, man, it's when I was little, I, man, I'm not sure that I went every year because I probably would have fallen asleep being a little <laughs> kid at the CMAs. But uh, I don't know, man. Since I've been an artist, this is I guess this will be my either third or fourth CMA. So Does it get easier the third or fourth time? Yeah, well, you just kind of got you kind of get in the routine of doing the carpet and... and uh, this year's different for us, though, man, because this, this is the first time that I've ever been nominated for an award, and uh, I get to play on the awards, and, and um, so it's the first time either of those two things have ever happened. So for me, this is a whole different year for us, so a lot more to prepare for, uh, a lot more to talk about on the red carpet, and, and uh, just a nerve-wracking night all in all. So. So, do you, so do you prepare a speech? Do you wing it? If you win, what do you, what do, you do? I'm kind of, like, nervous to, like, prepare a big speech, and just because if I don't, if I don't win, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm probably get, whatever I plan anyways is going to go out the window when I get up there. So as long as I thank God and my wife, I think I'm going to be. I think I'll be scotch free. And and they have to be pretty close to one A and one B. Yeah, right? exactly, exactly. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Well, good luck on that. And you got the new album. You're touring next year. You've been out on all the big tours the last yeah. couple of years. That's got to be amazing. Uh, to get out with the Luke Bryans and the Jason Aldeans and all the big guys yeah. that are so hot right now. Is there stuff that you learn now from them that that you can use going forward that you're filing away in the back of your mind and going, I want to do that, I want to do that? Yeah, I mean, I would say, um, you know, getting to be on so many tours, you, you get to learn a lot of what it looks like to be a headliner. Um, you get to see how much work actually goes into being a headliner, um, how many months of preparation for stage set up and but the biggest thing I've learned is, is really how to how to treat people you know being out there with Miranda and Aldine and Luke you know just their, their crews and their camps treat yeah people like I feel like a freshman in high school when I'm out there you know so that they the way that they treat me is the way that you know one day if I'm headlining my own tour to, to treat other people and I just think it goes I think it goes a long way so so people who don't know your dad is Red Aikens is uh, does he come out with you a lot now? Does he come out and do things with you? Um, sometimes he does. Uh, I mean, he he writes a ton in town, um, but every time he comes out, we usually bring somebody else and we usually write a lot. And uh, whenever he's out there, I always get him to come up on on stage and just sing for as long as he you wants to. That, so. my, that ain't my truck when he's out, I, out on tour. You know, with you, that, that song kind of gets requested for me to play every single time I get really? on stage. Yep. Really. It's pretty. It's kind of hilarious. Is that something you want to do, or is that something? Okay, I enjoy it. It's a great song. I really do. I mean, 15 <laughs> years later, it's still a hit. So. Absolutely. Well, good luck tomorrow night. Thanks, man. And we're looking forward to uh, having you come to Fayetteville real soon, too. Shoot, and, yeah. And uh, uh, continue success. <laughs> Thanks, man. Red Appreciate Aiken. you. <laughs> See, I, I, do this, I do it on the air all the time. Thomas Rhett. How about just TR? How about TR? That'll work. TR backstage at the CMAs with the big 95.7. And now it looks like... <laughs> <laughs> it looks like working class may be as big as all of them. I love it that you say working class because the title is drinking class. It is class, drinking class, but right. it but is absolutely, that. I call it working class all the time because that's really what it's about. Way more than drinking. It's not a drinking song. Right.